Hey there. If you have a creative service, but website design and website strategy aren't really your thing, don't worry, this video is for you. And I've been there myself back when I had a photography business and I didn't know a thing about websites. I remember I used to just mess with my website constantly and never felt like it was quite hitting the mark for that high-end polished look that I wanted. And that was the case with this um, email subscriber of mine. She is a photographer and her husband is helping her with her website and they just had a lot of questions about you know the design and also the layout strategy and that kind of thing so they agreed to let me put their website review that I did for them on my YouTube channel so that you can also benefit from it and learn these tips too um, so I hope it's helpful and just as a quick introduction if you don't know me I'm Emily I am a website designer I have been for about three and a half years now and um, it, this is now what I love to do full time. And so um, if you would like me to review your website next, just leave it in the comments and I will get to it as soon as I can. So thank you for watching and I hope you get some good tips. So I just wanna say um, I enjoyed looking through the website and I was super impressed with it on the whole. I mean, I think y'all have done an awesome job putting this all together because I know it's a ton of work. Um, <clears throat> so you specifically asked about design uh, suggestions, and I do have a few for you. And then I also have some uh, content and um, layout suggestions. So first of all, this first impression, um, I would say that I think the logo and the navigation should be swapped if that's possible. I don't know what website builder you're using, so some of this stuff might just depend on that. But since your logo is cent a centered style, I do think that those kind of logos look better in the center of the page. And then um, I think that your navigation menu just has maybe one or two too many tabs because while all these are essential pages to have on your website, they don't all need to be in that main menu because we only want the stuff up there that people need to see in order to work with you. And <clears throat> the blog is probably the first one that I would say you can get rid of that and just put the link in your footer instead because typically that's something that you just show to people after they've already worked with you. I'm, I mean, in most cases, that's that's how a lot of photographers use their blog. And so we most people just really need to see your portfolio and then, you know, your services and things like that. Um, but that's the less tabs that you can have up there, the easier it is to direct people to where you actually want them to go. Um, and so you can even get rid of your home tab if you want to because the clicking on the logo will lead people back to the home page um, but that's that's up to you okay so moving on um, the fonts is the one thing that I noticed could probably be elevated a little bit I do love how consistent everything is you clearly tried to tie everything together which is very smart but if you wanted to take it to just that next level of um, like a high-end design look I would actually think that choosing a sans serif clean font for your headings is going to add just that little bit of contrast and refinement that we need um, because right now your headings are very similar style to your logo but not quite the same. And so when that happens, sometimes it can look like a design mistake, even though I understand what you were doing here. Um, and so a font that I thought of that would, I think would look nice is Montserrat. Montserrat. <laughs> um, I've never really had to say it out loud, so it's kind of hard to say. But the um, you can leave everything all caps like you've been doing, but maybe I'm thinking like a thin, clean, um, sans serif font for the headings and then leave everything else the same. I think that would be a nice way to just level it up a little bit. And the other thing um, in this first section here is I there's a few elements missing that I would want to see. 
if I was your potential client, right near the top of the page. So I think this this little welcome section where you're you're clearly stating what you do, which is perfect, um, and why it matters, which is awesome. But this is where I would want to see like an introduction to who you are, Caitlin. So it would be great to add a, your photo here off to the side and also confirming your location and making it really obvious where you work because that's very critical to what you do. And right now the only place to find where you're located is all the way at the bottom in the footer. Most people on average will not make it to the bottom of the page and they're not going to even read the footer if they do. So we need to make that much more clear either here on top of the main header or here in this little welcome section. And the last thing um, that I would add there is your name because that's just for SEO purposes so that Google knows that the name of your business is Caitlin Cacioppo Photography. I'm sorry if I mis mispronounced that. But um, we need to put it in writing and not just in your logo image because Google can't read the image. So um, if someone is searching for the name of your business in Google, Google needs to know like what website that is so that they can show it to them. So we need to put it in, in writing. Um, and then on this section, I really want to see more images because right now it's sectioned off perfectly and I love your use of color. All that is great, but it's just a lot of words and not a lot of images and you're a photographer. So I want to see way more images on the homepage. Everything else is awesome. The the only other main thing that I wanted to point out for you was the details page. Um, I had no clue what that was going, what was going to be on that page before I clicked on it and started reading it. So that means you might people might not be clicking on it because they don't understand what they're going to get out of it. And so I would rename that just to make it more clear and just call it services because that's what it is. And then on this details page, on the services page. Um, <clears throat> clearly this was, at least to me, it seems like this is a services page for your portraits and family photos and things like that. Um, and so I would actually rename this to say portraits and then create a duplicate of this page that would be built specifically for weddings. <clears throat> And that helps with, again, your SEO, which is your search engine optimization. As a web developer, I'm, I'm sure you know about this, but um, having those different services on different pages is better because you're, they have completely different sets of keywords, different audiences that will be searching for different things. So we want Google to be able to show them only what they need instead of creating kind of like a blend. Um, Okay, so then also on this page, right now, since right now you have it says well, weddings coming soon, I would change that just to say weddings, um, inquire for details or reach out for more info, something like that. Give them something to do and then put a link or a button here that sends them there. Because when you say coming soon, that makes me think that you're not currently offering weddings yet. And maybe that is the case. Um, but since it was the first image on your home page, I would think that you are offering weddings. So it's a little bit confusing. So I hope that that helps. I think that's those were the main things I wanted to hit on. And again, thanks so much for being a part of my email list. And um, I hope this is helpful.